This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh I won't meet again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. This is what happens why you don't listen, Lee. This is what happens when you write a cat words, Onion. And what was it for which I was supposed to listen? See what happens when you don't listen, Lee. Didn't you just ask him that? The people you love suffer. Could you at least pretend that that doesn't turn you on so much? You're off your mark. I don't love any one of those people. Then allow me to do it again. I don't know, but let's just say no because I don't like anything this, and I use the term loosely, man does. How about now? Well, you didn't become less childish and more manlike in the past 10 seconds, so I'm gonna stick with no. I told you not to tell her. I'm pretty sure she knows you're a whiny little boy who never grew up. Not even in the same way Epiphany doesn't grow up, because she's more adult than you. How about I do it again? We are not painting your bloody flat, get over it. Was that supposed to make sense? Not particularly, no, but I have the feeling he's the type who would whine at us to repaint his flat instead of doing it himself. That was fun watching poor little Cory gasp for air. I would have liked to see her gasp for air. Too bad Marie the plushy lady's chinchilla ate the script for that episode. Or was it one of those things where they told but didn't show? It seems to happen quite often. Twins like, I am very good at eating things. I am also good at sitting on my post and watching my domain. Oh, but what are you so desperate to hide? Nothing. He's overcompensating with Rebe- Oh, wait. Wrong franchise. Then why didn't you want him to tell her? So I could have some leverage. Sorry, bub. In our crowd, what one of us knows, all of us know. You know, in some circles, that's known as metagaming. Well, in my circle, it's known as being honest with each other and checking in about the day's events. Too bad. Wait, how is that a bad thing? It seems pretty straightforward and therefore good to me. And don't worry. Just like in the pilot, no one was worrying. I'll take good care of this soul I just harvested from Akuma's host. Great! Say, when do you level up in Soulville? I win. Really? Because you look like a loser from where I'm standing. And from where I'm standing, and from where Twen is sitting, Looks like I will have to wait on my prize from you. This soul will do for now. What? You told me about it three times. Why try so hard to get my attention? Because you haven't given him the D? That could be anyone on this show or in Akuma's backstory. Why not just show up in the Bleeding Glass Palace? Well, I would, but then Akuma would feel it then, wouldn't she? Because Akuma totally has a direct link to Elibris' stupidly named and or badly translated palace. Nice try. Go fuck yourself. Clearly no one else on this set will. Yet. 
Is that an offer? Not even for all the amaretto in Italy. I know quite a lovely chap who runs a delightful pet store in Chinatown. His incense is probably the one thing I like better than booze. I'm here for today, but that's only because I had to cover me talking to Core earlier by saying I was talking to an interviewer. It's amazing! They don't like any of my friends! <laughs> yes, but he's saying that they don't like Shiv either. They don't seem to mind me. Core is alright, Izukuma. Akuma's fine. One thing though, they don't like anyone who I like as a friend. And my grandma's getting suspicious of you too. Cry more! Because we need a token human who will whine about being locked out of the loop for some reason. Akuma needed a boost from Lee's energy, but she's stable now. Lee has a long-lost grandson. Your grandma can go jump in a lake, and that's a G-rated version of what I really want to say. I got a new Coca Pelly bag, so yay me! Call me later, but keep it under 30 minutes. Will this be our last goodbye, or will he ever tell me why? Will this be our last goodbye, or will we meet again? I snuck into his room that night with the candle burning bright. Nightmares kept him up all night, but now he sleeps forever. He wanted her to meet us halfway from Delaware coming to the bay. When she didn't come to meet us that day, he locked himself sulking in his room. Everyone knows you reap what you sow. Perhaps I went a little overboard, but if they never find his body, then no one ever has to know. La 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 This could be our last goodbye, last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh why won't we meet again? We watched her breathing through the night, through the night, with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. She was meant to meet us halfway, meet us halfway, coming from the bay. She broke her promise to meet us that day, she never could follow through. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls of the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too.